zoax.net. Lesson 10, Exceptions. For this lesson, you will need a project like the one we created in Lesson 1. An exception is an unusual condition that arises during a program's execution. It might be more correct to call it an error. Exceptions are a large topic, and this video will only skim the subject and present what we need at the moment. There is some terminology that we will encounter with respect to exceptions. That is, when an exception occurs, we say that the code throws an exception. In order to handle an exception, we must first catch the exception. So we have this terminology that says exceptions are thrown and then caught and handled. Some functions that we call have a chance of throwing an exception. For example, if we call the system.in.read function to get input, this function could throw a java.io.io exception during its execution. This behavior is specified within the function itself, so we must deal with it when we call such a function. In our first program, we print a simple question which asks whether Galileo built the first reflecting telescope. Then we call the read function to get an answer from the user. After this, we have added a simple if-else statement to tell the user whether or not he has answered correctly. If we try to compile this code as is, the compiler generates an error like this one. Error unreported exception IO exception must be caught or declared to be thrown. So even though the exception is not thrown, we must provide code to either catch it and handle it or rethrow it. Now we have added code to rethrow the exception. This code would not really help if the exception had been thrown. All it does is pass off the responsibility for handling the exception. We will explain how that works later, and we will simply remark that this allows the code to compile. So we can run this code, and we will see the question printed. If we type T and enter, we are told that our answer is wrong, and we are given the correct answer, which is Isaac Newton. The first telescopes, which were built during Galileo's time, were refractors. The reflecting telescope was invented later by Isaac Newton. As an alternative to simply rethrowing the exception, we can catch the exception and handle it. Here we have removed the throw and added a try catch block. Notice that we have a try command and we put braces around the code to define a block of code where an exception might be thrown. In this case, the only code that could throw an exception is the read function. However, we put this extra code inside the try block because we do not want it to be executed if an exception is thrown by the read function. At the end of the try block, we have added a catch block for the exception that might be thrown. So if the exception is thrown, we will see this message telling us that it was thrown. This handler doesn't do much, but it will allow the code to compile and execute. Again, let us compile and execute this, and we will see that it runs just like the previous program that had the throw in it. So long as no exception is thrown, it does not matter which one we do. We will show what happens when an exception is thrown in our next program. In this example, we simply call the reset function inside of a try block. When the code executes, reset will throw the java io.io exception, and we will catch it here and print this message. Do not worry about what the reset function does. We just want to illustrate the exception. Executing the program, we see the message telling us that the exception was thrown. To better illustrate how the try and catch work, I have added some print statements to the previous program. There is a print statement before the try, before the reset, after the reset, and then after the catch. Now when we execute this code, we will see that all of the messages were printed except the one directly after reset. This is because when an exception is thrown, the program skips immediately to the catch blocks to see if the exception is handled. Do not be concerned if you do not understand everything in this lesson. This is simply an introduction to the idea of exceptions. The purpose of this lesson is primarily to help you understand that any code that you see with the words try, catch, throw, and exception is related to exception handling. We will explain exceptions in greater detail later. 